We don't just do shotguns here. So this is actually a rifle. This is something somebody would use to go to Africa with. You this can go to Africa with this? Yep. It's, How? You go and people go and they hunt um, Cape Buffalo, they hunt uh, elephants. And they let them take rifles overseas? Yeah. I didn't know that. So if you want to see the bullet on that one. Damn, man, get the, that's crazy, man. That's not real. That's, that's not real, that's, that's, that not real. That's, not real. that's not real, that's not real, that's not real, that's not real. They let somebody fly to Africa, not only with this big heavy ass gun, with this too? Yep. No way, they won't even let me fucking travel with a lighter. <laughs> and they let you do this? Yep. Trappy, what you think? Yeah, okay, cool. What's up, world? It's your player partner checking in. Two chain, and you know me. I'm flamboyant, I like the fancy thing, and I'm always craving for something more. This is the new season of the most expensive this shit. Let's get into it. One more good one, bro. Come on now, these are you bullshit. Like I put just put an ounce of the best weed in the world in there. The best? That's the best weed in the world, I promise. Okay. Come on then. We'll pull it for 10 seconds then, because we're pulling it for 10 seconds. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shit. Wow. 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 If it ain't the best, it's around the corner. <laughs> it's down the street from the base. <laughs> do you think that this weed is good enough for your papers? Most certainly do. I wish y'all could smell. Don't they got Apple TVs don't let y'all smell? You don't know what the fuck you're missing. <laughs> What's up, world? It's your player partner checking in. Two chains, and you know me. I'm flamboyant. I like the fancy things, and I'm always craving for something more. This is the new season of the most expensive this shit. Let's get into it. Yo, 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 two chains. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, I brought my, brought my doctor with me, Dr. Dina, you feel me? Nice. What you got going on right here? What I got for you right here is the world's more luxurious and most expensive rolling paper. Made out of 24 karat edible gold. Really? The plating process is handmade. It has a, a distinctive taste. Cause you're smoking the gold, you saying? Cause I ate gold one time. You're not really smoking the gold. What you're smoking is underneath and around the gold. So all you have left over is gold ash. We have sheets two for 20, and then we have these 12 packs of around 50 slime. But does it come with weed? No, it does not. Or how about we put our most expensive meds with your most expensive rolling paper and have an expensive experience? Let's do it. Well, I just so happen to have brought the world's most expensive cannabis. What you got, Doc? We have the top shelf and the Isla, which are canned cannabis. This is actually cut off the plant, and they trim it, they put it in here, they seal it, and they cure it in the can. This should remind me of them Vienna sausage Ready? days. And how much are, are these in a can? This is $100 a can. Oh, shit, Whoa. this shit. So this would be $800 an ounce. I thought it was gonna be four. This shit is like them Lay's potato chips. They actually chips. put a can You open up them shits and there's only four on the inside of it. <laughs> I'm about to smoke the most expensive joint because we got the ten dollar pack plus eight hundred dollars plus carry the one. Woo. Get in it. Mm -mm -mm. I guess while I'm waiting on y'all to do that, I could pull out Z secret weapon. Oh boy! This is the biggest pipe in the world. <laughs> Dr. Dina put an ounce of loud in here. Okay. I'm gonna trade you. Okay. This beautiful joint with a funky feel tip. Mm. For okay. this bad boy. Damn. You're gonna have to. Whoa, oh, hold on now. Yo. Uh -huh. Whoa, Doc, what you doing? You okay? <laughs> you told me to light it. Oh, yeah, get it. You gotta hold the that side. Is insane. <laughs> Interesting. You do taste it a little bit. You take the go. I taste the gold. Burn Smoking yourself. that gold paper. This real gold, bro. 24K. Get, where you get the gold from? Gold, look, gold up. Gold, like 50 bands for a bar. Yeah. And it really holds the ashes. I see what you're saying. Yeah. How they get it to do that? 
They have to know somebody to do that. This is like the, the caviar of joints. You know what I'm saying? The most expensive joint. I'm smoking the most expensive joint in the world. This was one experience that I would never forget. This is one for the record books. I don't even know how I'm gonna wrap this up, really. Are I you just, too high to wrap this up? No, no, let's just wrap up another joint. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of here now. You're gonna get out of here now. We're gonna stay right here. With hard work and dedication, you could be right here one day. So yeah, $800 ounce of weed, gold wrapping paper. Talking about being flamboyant. It was almost so fancy you didn't even want to smoke it, but you know me, fuck that. As you saw it though, man, it was hard to handle that big ass pipe. The most expensive is pipe with the most expensive is weed, the most expensive is paper. I will be doing that shit again. So if that gun is 350 and this one is 100,000, plus who the hell killed this? Is this real? It's real, absolutely. It's one of our customers, actually. One of your guns did that? Yeah. Laid him out. That's right. Hi, welcome to Pacific Sporting Arts. I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing? I'm two chains, man. What's nice up? to meet you. Nice to meet What's you. What's up, bro? I have a uh, Kriegoff hunting shotgun right here. What? How old is this rifle? This well, rifle's maybe ten years old. Oh, so it's not like it seems like it's so antique or something. This is uh, what's called Turkish walnut. If you can see it, it comes from Turkey. See all this burl here, all this it color. Comes from Turkey, you can tell. Yeah. She's a Turkey. <laughs> She's a Turkey. Twenty-five thousand nine ninety-five. It's ready to go. My daddy left me a twelve gauge when he passed, but there's nothing. Oh, do you see that? Oh my God, you see that? Man, what made you get into this stuff, George? <laughs> I've been shooting all my life, actually. Oh, as a really? matter of fact, yeah. Okay. So I just kind of marks, fell into man. it. Yep. Got you. All right. What else you got going on? Show me what Come else on you over got. here. Come on, Trap. Let's see what else you got. What? And the world is this right here, bro. I mean, it just looks like a Terminator weapon or something. What's this? <laughs> this is an Anschutz 22 target rifle. Anschutz. This is what they use in the Olympics. It's just a little 22 single shot rifle. Really? Why is it so fancy? So these guys, they shoot in different positions, right? And they're shooting targets that are size of Lincoln's eye on a penny, you know, at sometimes 50 meters. So you need absolutely the best most precision equipment to achieve that, and that's what this is. That's why everything's so heavy. You can see how heavy it really is. Oh, it is heavy. So it adjusts this is shoulder here. Yeah, it adjusts okay. for your shoulder, and then the height of your face on the stock. Right here. Yep. Let's, let's get these glasses off. Let's see what's going on. I shoot sometime, obviously. Right. I have a little property in the south, and I found it better to do it between breaths. <laughs> Well, it keeps your body nice and steady. Do you know how fucking heavy this gun is just holding yeah. it right here? <laughs> and sometimes they, they'll hold it for a half an hour, 45 minutes. That's a workout. <laughs> Trappy, what you think? Yeah, okay, cool. What else you got? All right, so over here this on this wall, crazy, man. For this real. is what really defines us as the most premier gun dealer in the United States. What's the name of that show where he shot and missed and struck oil? What's the name of that old? Beverly Hillbillies? Yeah, is that the damn gun he used right no, now? No, not at all. What is this? This is a Beretta. So this company has been in business since 1526. 1526 they were making guns. That's right. Century. Go ahead and take a look. This gun's $110,000. Just one part of the price of this gun is the price of the engraving, the craftsmanship and the artistry that goes into it. This gun took over two years to engrave. Yeah, this dog has a damn duck in his mouth, and it says, made in Italy. So the owner then shot the duck, and, 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 and Trappy brought him back. This is the most expensive gun I've ever seen in my life, bro. If you like all this, I've got something really interesting for you to look at over there. That's crazy. This is part of a four-gun set. This is $354,000. <laughs> So the majority of the people that buy these guns um, are rich ass white people. You'd be surprised who buys these guns, as a matter of fact. No, I won't. <laughs> you say it comes with four more guns, or you there's saying, three more guns in this set. We show them. To, what you mean, like a handgun? Or no, it's, it's a matching set of four different guns. So there's a 12, a 20, a 28, and a 410, each a different size and a different caliber. It's got the game scenes here with birds and then the scrolls, and it's all done by hand. 
Is that a bear? It's actually, it's just a different kind of hunting dog. Ooh, he got a duck, he got a duck, he got a duck in his mouth too. This thing has unicorns on it. John Wayne would be proud of you. That's right. <laughs> Trappy, see something you like? See anything you like? Trappy, which one you like? What color? Which engravement? I must have smoked a bit of gunpowder. Cause that's what you gotta be on to spend three hundred thousand dollars on one of them damn rifles. John Wayne didn't shoot it. I saw some reasonable ones, but a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, the engravement was really—it was advanced. It was another level. It was some stuff that looked like a masterpiece. I cannot even lie. They had dogs and bears carrying ducks and quails, so I can see that. But. Honestly, if you plan on hunting, being a gun collector, would you spend over $300,000 for that weapon?